Today I'm going to walk you through how to enable name labels through WebEx Control Hub. First thing you're going to want to do is log in to the Control Hub. Let me do that real quick. And you want to make sure that you're logging in as the admin, so that way you can change these settings in Control Hub. If you're logging in at the reseller level, you would want to actually go into your customers first. So click on customers and then click on the actual customer that you want to enable this for. Uh, please make sure that you have actually admin rights at that customer to be able to make this change. If you are the customer itself, you when you log into Control Hub, you'll log directly into your view. So this is the overview page. From here, you're going to actually want to go under settings. Once you click that, you can scroll down to face recognition. As you can see here, I've already had it turned on. If you didn't have this turned on, you just have to click this little toggle button to turn it on. From there, you can actually invite the users. So if I click on invite users, it'll actually create a standard invitation for this with the link that they're supposed to go to to enroll and stuff like that. So uh, you can create the email directly from here or copy it to your clipboard and then paste it into your own email that you sent out to a distribution list, whatever you'd like to do. And then to further enable this, you're going to have to switch uh, and have the individual users actually set this up. So let me actually switch over to that real quick. So this site is settings.webex.com. I'm going to log into here just like I logged into the other system. So let me do that real quick. Once you're logged in, you're going to see this My Profile page as the user itself. So every individual user is going to have to do this of their own accord. So when they go here, they're going to click on Get Started. This is going to pretty much tell you a little bit about what name labels is. Name labels will pop up next to the user, or below the user, and actually show whatever name they have registered in the Web Control Hub. If you scroll down a little bit further, it'll tell you a little bit about your privacy and that uh, you're giving them access to your face to be able to create this profile for you. And then you can always delete this at any given time in the future if you don't want to participate any further. Uh, you're going to click on Get Started. And then the next thing you're going to do is you want to make sure that you give the system access to your camera. So it's going to give you a little pop-up in the top left corner. It's going to ask you, can I access your system? And you're going to say yes. Uh, allow, and then this will change over to your camera. So once you've given it access to your camera, then obviously you can see yourself there, and you're just going to take your photo. Cheese. From here, you can actually uh, retake the photo itself. So in this particular case, it's using the demo user name because that's what I logged this user as in my control hub. Uh, but if this was you yourself, it would have your name below this to, or your associate's name below that if they're logging into this. And then uh, it's going to say, you look all set. And then I'm just gonna hit done. And it's now recorded that face as the mathematical equation of what I look like. So when I go into use this with a room system, it's going to try to figure out, is this me based off of my teams and who's in the room? And then it pulls the data from those people that are in that room and says, which one does this person look like? And then it can put the name label below it. If for some reason I want to edit this, I can click on that again, and I can either delete it out, or I can actually uh, take a new photo here and I can turn on and off my show your name label if I want. So I can still have my information in there, but doesn't actually show my name label below me if I didn't want it to. But from here, I can then uh, back back out and it'll all be set up for me. Now, if I switch back over to the actual control hub, so say I was going back into this to see how many people actually have fully registered, um, I can go to the users if I want, and if I click on any of these people, uh, say I click on myself, I can actually see by going to, looking under name labels that they've enrolled. So if I look at, say, this particular user, I can see that they've enrolled in name labels. Click on this particular user, I can see that they have not enrolled in name labels. So this is a quick way to see how many people are or are not particularly 
uh, activated in the name label section or if somebody's complaining hey it's not working uh, they totally tell you they set it all up in the system they you can easily see go underneath them hey no you actually didn't enroll yet go back in there reprovide the link whatever you need to do to get them to sign up 